So Spark Plant has expanded to community colleges because of the impact we've seen that it could have on students, particularly in community colleges. And in 2015, we learned that Skyline College students who access Spark Plant services were more likely to stay in school. Uh, their fall to spring sem semester persistence rates for Spark Plant students were 79% compared to 64% college-wide. And persistence rates are actually even higher for Spark Plant students who access multiple services. And we learned that Spark Point seemed to be effective for students because it addressed non-academic worries so that they were able to focus on their studies and stay in school. We know that post-secondary institutions struggle to retain its most vulnerable students, and colleges often struggle with low enrollment, student persistence, and completion rates among low-income students, students of color, and first-generation students. We also know these challenges have been exacerbated because of COVID-19. And SparkPoint is really tackling this challenge head-on by directly alleviating students' non-academic challenges.